Thanks for joining me in the studio again this week. Today I'm going to be talking about brushes. Brushes are so important for watercolor painting and having a good brush will really help you to feel a lot more comfortable working with watercolor and having a bad brush will be very frustrating. My favorite type of brush to use is a long pointed round brush. Right now I am enjoying working with Princeton Velvet Touch and these are pretty economical brushes. They're a lot less expensive than some of the other brushes that I bought, but I like them a lot better. What I like about them is the fact that even with the very large brushes, they have a very fine point and you can paint very fine lines and tiny details with a brush like this. And if you're using a larger brush, a lot of paint will fit onto the brush and you won't have to keep picking up paint from your palette with your, with your brush, which is something that you would need to do with a tiny brush. I've had people ask me if I use brushes that have just a couple hairs on them and I do have some tiny little brushes like that, but I much prefer using a larger brush with a fine pointed tip. The other nice thing about them is that they are synthetic bristle, so if you are concerned about animal cruelty, you don't have to worry about that with these brushes. And I'll show you a little bit of a difference between the different brushes I use and why I like the Princeton Velvet Touch brushes the best. So I want to demonstrate the difference in line quality that you can get with a few different brushes. The Princeton Velvet Touch Long Round. This is a size 10. Right now, this brand of brush is my favorite. The Blick Master Synthetic brushes I used for a long time, and I think they've slightly changed their look to them. Then, on a more high end, the Raphael Kolinsky Sable, the Red Sable, and the Windsor Newton Professional Watercolor Kalinsky Sables. I'm going to show you how those work. And if you just compare the tips of these brushes, these are dry, and this is how they've dried. And you can see how much wider the sable brushes are from the, these two synthetics. So I'm just going to use some paint that I've already mixed and just wet my brush pretty well. And as I mentioned, the reason that I like these brushes is because you can get a very fine point. I just need a little more water. So I made that wide so you can see, but it's also you can get really tiny marks with it. So that's the Princeton Velvet Touch, the long round, long pointed round. This Blick Master Synthetic, which I used for a long time, it does get a nice point to it. Might not have been wet enough. But you can, I'm not sure if you can tell, there are hairs that don't stay as part of the point, and then there's some fuzziness. So that is the Blick Master Synthetic. Let's try that one more time. It's a little wetter. And that's, if you barely touch now, the Kalinsky Sable, this is the Raphael, and this, although it doesn't look like it, is the extra long pointed. Now I'm just wetting it and trying to shape it into the point. I guess it's getting there. Now I'm going to pick up some paint. So, 
Let's see how that does. Actually did better than I remembered it. It's actually doing really well. I remember not liking that as much. Now this is the Windsor & Newton Professional Watercolor Sable. This is a round brush. They also have long pointed brushes. This one I'm just trying to get into a point. I've wet it a little bit. And you can see this one is not getting into quite as nice of a point. And I think that's, um, that's about as thin as I can get. That's just a quick comparison. So I hope that gives you something to think about when you're considering brushes for your own work. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.